Hey guys, it's Corey from CM Images Photography. Today we're going to be looking at something a little interesting that you might have noticed if you were checking your Instagram or Facebook ads about a year ago. This is the top shelf bag from Bevis Gear. What is it? Well, we'll find out more about that after the intro. I'm kidding, I don't have an intro, I don't have that kind of budget. So what is this? It's a camera bag first off that promises to be the fastest open layout bag on the market. So what does that mean exactly? Well, basically what they're talking about is it's very easy to get into this bag and put it back behind you when you're using it. But let's start off with the basics. This is a convertible backpack shoulder bag, sling bag. So what does that mean exactly? There are a lot of bags on the market that offer this similar, similar functionality. Basically you can wear it with two straps like a backpack so that it allows you to carry a lot of weight comfortably when you're trapsing around in the middle of nowhere. But if you're running around shooting an event and you need to get into your equipment quickly and change lenses fast, it can become a sling bag, which allows you to slide it in front without actually having to take it off. Now they come up with a pretty good mechanism for putting that second strap out of the way. Basically all you do is you flip it in front and then you got these two little clips on the bag here. Two little clips on the bag here. Two little clips. There we go. So you got one here, one here. Just slides in the locks like that out of the way. Once you actually know what you're doing, it's very, very fast. Now you got this single sling strap over here. You can just throw it over your shoulder like any sling bag. Slide it in front. The interesting thing is it sits open in front of you. Kind of like the, you know, the, the kind of cart that you would see with a 1960s uh, old-timey cigar girl in a casino somewhere. So, what else does it feature? Well, you got room for accessories. You got two small pockets in front for putting things like batteries, uh, pita bread sandwich, gels, whatever you want. It also features a uh, side access over here. You got the compartment to get into all your gear. This is a secondary access. The main one is the interesting selling point feature on the back here. Now you have rear access from this bag as opposed to front access. Uh, the advantage to that is it's a lot harder for people to steal stuff out of your bag when it's smushed against your back. Now the interesting way to get into this, you've obviously got the standard zipper that every bag has, but you've also got this interesting push, push button mechanism here. So it's a lot faster than zipping and unzipping. Now, my initial thoughts on this were, gear might slide out if the flap is open, right? Fortunately, in practice, not so much. When it's tight, it doesn't flop at all, even on the edges, because the back is quite rigid, so there's no way gear is gonna slide out of the side here. Now, when you open it, plenty of Velcro dividers that you can use to customize your gear however you want. I was able to get two camera bodies with four lenses and two flashes in here without too much effort. So you got a lot of room for whatever you want to put in there. Now, just to show you how strong the latch is on this thing, we've got this bag fully loaded now. Got it, what have I got in here? Got two flashes, one, two, three, four lenses, DSLR, mirrorless. So, a little bit of weight here. Holds pretty well. This is not opening. Not anytime soon. Now, let's get to the good sides first. Seems like it's very well made. You got very good straps on here. Stitching is really nice. The bag has what seems to be a bit of a metal frame to help make it less squishy, which is something I kind of appreciated. It's a little bit protected when you put it in the airplane overhead compartment. Now let's go to that latch mechanism for a minute. How does it work? Well, as they say, they've got this push button here that is supposedly the same kind of hood mechan mechanism you see on a race car hood. Basically, the button latches onto this little sprocket thingy here, and there you go. So, what about mobile devices? You do have a spot on this bag to hold a laptop, technically. Now, it goes right in here, and according to the, the manufacturer's website, you're supposed to be able to get a 15-inch laptop in here. I tried to get my 13.5 inch Surface Book in here, and while technically it did fit, that's right, 
I said Surface Book, not MacBook. Get over it. It was uh, really tight and I wouldn't recommend it. When I took the screen off of the Surface Book and put that in here alone, that fit pretty well. So you're going to be able to get any kind of tablet in here with no trouble. So now after like four or five weeks of use so far, I found this bag generally pretty good. It does everything I needed to do. Uh, a bit of a downside to it, I would say is the size. It fits everything just snugly. I can get a full frame DSLR in here, barely. It just comes over the lid. This is the kind of thing where you actually need to take into account the width of your, uh, your tripod plate because that puts it right at the lip of the, the bag here. Now something else I noticed about this bag, in the corners you'll notice the lid doesn't come quite to the edge. So you got this bit of a lip here which can make it a bit difficult putting in your gear and taking it out quickly when it's in the corners. What I would have liked to see from them is maybe if this zipper could go much closer to the edge of the bag. That would make it a lot easier to get things into the bag and out of it when they're in the corners. Another thing that might be nice to see, you do have a tripod strap here, but if you look over here, the top strap, the zipper where it's hidden, goes under this handle here, which means you have to stick your fingers in and pry it out. You got to push the zipper underneath and pull it across. It makes it a little inconvenient. On the bottom, it's not so bad because there's nothing blocking it, so you can simply reach in and pull out your tripod straps and the little cup that holds the tripod leg. All in all, pretty good bag. I think pretty much all of my problems with it would have been solved if it was just a little bit thicker and a little bit bigger because that way you would be able to get a full frame DSLR in here much more comfortably even with the tripod plate. As it is now, you can't get a pro body in here like a Canon 1D or anything with a battery grip unless you lie the, ca the camera down on its back, which would take up a little extra space in the bag. Uh, so, let's go over the pros and the cons, shall we? This bag is solid. It's not squishy, the handles and straps have great stitching, and that button mechanism holds up really well. As a sling bag, it gives you very fast access to your equipment. It slides in front of you easily, the button mechanism is very fast to open, much easier than a zipper, and once you do get it open, all of your equipment is right there in front of you on a tray, very easy to get to. It's versatile. Not only do you have the quick access of a sling bag, but if you leave the latch closed with the bag in tray format in front of you, it can make for a pretty good plan B stabilizer if you need to shoot some video clips at the last second. On top of that, when you have the second strap in its proper backpack form, it's much easier to carry a heavy load over a long distance. It's a bit thin. If you've got a full frame DSLR in there, it's going to come right up to the lip of the top of the bag. And if you've got a tripod plate on there, it's going to be that much more of a tight fit. If you've got a camera with a battery grip on it, you're going to have to get a bit creative. It's a tight fit for the accessory compartments, especially the one that holds your laptop. Also, if you want to get the tripod straps out, the one at the top is going to be pretty difficult when you have to pass that zipper underneath the handle. It's not the cheapest bag on the market. As of February 2022, Bevis Gear has this bag listed on their website at $349. Now, with all this having been said, if Bevis Gear were to come out with a bigger version of this bag, I would love to take a look at it. So that's the Bevis Gear top shelf in a nutshell. It makes the promise of being the world's fastest open layout camera bag. Now, does it live up to that promise? I didn't time it. It is pretty fast. Let's go with that. You can get into it pretty quickly. Uh, no fuss, no muss. What is muss? Does anybody know what muss is? If you know what muss is, put it in the comments below because I would really like to find out. Maybe I'll do a video on it. I'll do that video next time. The description of muss. What you first gotta put in the description, right there. Comments, right there, just do it. See you later.